This is the third part of our discussion on the concept of series. So far, we have defined what is a series, and then we also define when does a given series converges or diverges. Then we related a given complex series with two related series of real numbers, and what is the relationship between the convergence and divergence of complex series and the related two real series. Now, uh, we are going to explore further uh, the tools for checking the convergence and divergence of series. And these are going to be helpful in uh, checking whether a series is convergent or divergent. Now, what is an infinite series? We have seen that it is a formal expression where we add infinitely many complex numbers z1 plus z2 plus z3 up to so on. So, all of these z1, z2, z3, these are known as the terms of the series. Now, the question is how to check convergence and divergence of series. Now, the first tool that we are going to explore is this necessary criteria for checking the convergence. So, it is not necessary and sufficient condition, but still it is very useful criteria and very simple criteria for checking the convergence or divergence of a given series. Now, this criteria says that if we are given a convergent series, then uh, the limit of its terms is going to be equal to 0. In other words, when we move on, when we increase the values of n, then the terms of the sequence are getting closer and closer to the origin and when n approaches to infinity, this zn is going to be equal to 0. And if this is not true, uh, if we are given a series where the terms are not getting closer and closer to the origin and not converging to the origin, then the series, the related series must be divergent. Okay, so that's why this criteria is very useful. Now, uh, let's see how to prove this uh, criteria. Now, to prove this thing, what are we given? We are given that the series is a convergent series. And what do we want to show? Of course, we want to show that the limit n approaches to infinity, zn is 0. Now, since the series is convergent, so let's assume that this sum is equal to some complex number L. Now, let's define Sn, uh, the sequence of partial sums, uh, which is going to be the sum of the first n terms. And uh, this implies that Sn minus 1 is going to be equal to Z1 plus Z2 up to so on, Zn minus 1. So, in fact, sum of the first n minus 1 terms. Now, uh, let's see uh, if we take the difference of Sn and Sn minus 1. Now, when we take the difference, then the first terms, the second terms, up to so on, n minus 1 terms. So, these are going to be subtracted and uh, they will cancel each out. And what are we going to left with? So, we are going to be left with Zn. So, limit n approaches to infinity Zn is going to be equal to limit n approaches to infinity Sn minus Sn minus 1. And uh, since uh, the series is converging to L, so the limit of the sequence of partial sums Sn is L and also the limit n approaches to infinity of Sn minus 1 is equal to L because it is also, you know, just a translation of the sequence of partial sums. So, we can say that it is also a sequence of partial sums. And so, L minus L is equal to 0 and which implies uh, the result that the limit n approaches to infinity Zn is equal to 0. Now, uh, let's apply this uh, necessary condition to check the convergence of this uh, uh, complex series where the terms are defined as 1 plus iota raised to power n. So, in other words, when we increase n, then we are taking powers of this complex number. Now, uh, to apply this criteria, we want to calculate limit n approaches to infinity Zn. Now, let's observe that if a sequence is converging to the origin, Okay, so when we increase n, then the terms are getting closer and closer to the origin. Then this implies that that it's uh, the modulus of these complex numbers is the moduli of these complex numbers are also going to be converging to zero. So the related sequence, which is the moduli of the terms of the sequence uh, mod z n, must be equal to zero. So limit n approaches to infinity, z n mod must also be zero. 
Now in this case it is difficult to calculate the limit of Zn. Now let's calculate the limit of the modulus. Okay, so and uh, of course this is equal to uh, square root 2 power n. So of course this is going to be equal to infinity and hence uh, if the moduli are not approaching to the 0 then the Zn is not approaching to 0. And if the terms of the sequence are not converging to 0 then definitely the series is going to be a divergent series. So that's how simple this criteria is and uh, using this criteria we have checked that uh, this series is divergent. Now our second test for checking the convergence of series is the comparison test. The comparison test is one of the fundamental and of course very easy to apply criteria for checking the convergence or divergence of a given complex series. Now remember uh, we have also uh, we have also the same criteria for dealing with the series of real numbers. And how does it work? So it works in the following way. So given a given a series that we want to check the convergence or divergence, then we find another series and uh, we compare this new series with the given series and by using the information about the convergence or divergence of this new series we find we deduce the convergence or divergence of a given series now in fact we compare the terms of the two series of real numbers and uh, we check that whether the terms of one series are eventually getting bigger and bigger than the other series or not so in this way we are basically comparing whether uh, the terms are greater than the terms of the other series or not now if we uh, want to use the same criteria or similar criteria uh, of comparison test in the series of complex numbers then we are going to be faced with one big problem and the problem is if we are given two complex numbers then it is impossible to say that whether one complex number is bigger than the other complex number or the other way around so we cannot compare two complex numbers so in other words we cannot compare two series that uh, the terms of one series are getting bigger and bigger than the other terms than the other series or not okay so that's a kind of problem here now to solve this issue instead of comparing uh, two complex series we compare a complex series with a series of real numbers but once again we cannot compare a complex number with a real number whether a complex number is bigger than a real number or not so uh, once again to solve this issue we take the moduli of the terms of the series now uh, let's see precisely what is this comparison test for the case of complex series okay so given a series which is convergent of non negative real numbers okay so this is the series that we want to compare with our given complex series okay so uh, this is the information which is going to help us in checking the convergence or divergence of a given complex series so we have found this uh, if we have found this mn okay so series of real numbers such that the terms of our given series and their moduli are less than or equal to mn for all n if this happens then our given series is also convergent okay so now uh, of course uh, the idea is very simple uh, the given series of real numbers is convergent and it is somehow bigger than uh, our uh, uh, series of complex numbers. So, bigger in what sense? So, bigger in the sense that the moduli are always less than or equal to mn. So, that's how uh, this uh, given series of real numbers is kind of bigger than the series that we want to, you know, explore. Now, let's apply this criteria to check the convergence or divergence of a given complex series. Now show that the series with the terms 3 plus 4 iota raised to power n over 5 raised to power n n square where n is equal to 1 to infinity. Now show that this series converges and we want to apply this comparison test in this case. Now uh, of course we can easily see that if we apply the necessary condition that we discussed uh, then it is kind of uh, difficult in this situation 
to check the convergence or divergence. So we apply the comparison test and uh, we compare in fact the moduli of the terms. So that's why let's calculate uh, this uh, modulus of Zn. This is going to be equal to 3 square plus 4 square square root raised to power n over 5 raised to power n n square. It is just a real number. 5 raised to power n n square so its modular modulus will be again the same number now simplify we get 1 over n square so mod of zn is equal to 1 over n square now we know from uh, real analysis that the series with the terms 1 over n square n is equal to 1 to infinity this is in fact a convergent series of real numbers okay so in fact uh, the mod Zn is equal to 1 over n square and the series 1 over n square is a convergent series. So that's why we can say that by using comparison test that our given series of complex numbers is in fact a convergent series. Okay, so that's how we apply comparison test in this uh, uh, very simple way. Now if we are given a series then it is said to be absolutely convergent provided that the corresponding real series which is formed by taking the moduli of the terms of the series converges okay so if this series of real numbers uh, converges then we say that the series is absolutely convergent and uh, here is a very simple result that if uh, this uh, series which consists of the moduli of the terms of the series if this converges then the series has to be convergent now once again it is a very simple result but it relates a given complex series with a real series and uh, it tells us that if this series of real numbers is convergent then our series of complex numbers is also convergent so once again another useful criteria for checking the convergence or divergence of a complex series and of course uh, once again we are we will be using here our knowledge of convergent and divergence of real series so in this discussion we have discussed three main criteria for checking the convergence or divergence of a given complex series